In this video, we're going to create a very cool GPT called Power Dynamics, which is going to take the 48 laws of power that's by Robert Greene um, and have that as its knowledge resource and correspond to the users based on their real life scenarios. Um, we will also go through the instructions tab. I've provided detailed instruction on how to respond to the user when they're asking questions and what kind of um, responses and answers it should give. Uh, we will also go through and take a look at a few examples of how we can interact with this GPT on real life scenarios and how it will respond based on the knowledge resource that it has, which is again the 48 Laws of Power uh, book by Robert Greene. Uh, one of the examples you can see here, uh, let's say I'm a user, I come in and I say, hey, I'm struggling at work, I feel like my contributions are often overlooked and I'm not sure how to make a bigger impact or get noticed by my superiors, what should I do? So the user puts in that prompt and then the Power Dynamics GPT responds from its knowledge resource only because I have turned off the web browsing so it's only gonna respond based on the 48 laws of power. It's gonna actually give the number, the law numbers and then also respond based on that according to our instructions that we have provided. So that being said, let's get started. All right, so I'm on in my main chat.openai.com page in ChatGPT4, of course, you have to have that. Um, I'm gonna start by checking the status of OpenAI. It looks like everything is good. ChatGPT is operational and green. This looks like there's an issue with API credits, but that shouldn't have any impact on creating a GPT. So I'm gonna go back, click on the Explore section, click on Create a GPT. Um, so we'll start on the Create tab, just because I wanna do the profile picture that GPT Builder will create, and then we'll switch over the configure tab for the rest of the stuff. So I can get started in the create tab. And so I said I want to build a GPT about 48 laws of power by Robert Greene called Power Dynamics. So now it should update the name of this GPT to Power Dynamics, and then we'll go ahead and create the profile picture and then move on to the configure tab for the rest of this because again this is going to be very custom we'll provide our own custom instructions and then also add the pdf resource as uh, a guide for it to answer to the users okay there you go that's actually a pretty cool profile picture so i'll keep that so now we can just switch to the configure tab actually so here we'll just name the gpt called power dynamics all right, so the description, they said advice on real life power dynamics based on the book 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. So that should be good enough. Um, let's go ahead into the instruction sections and we will get rid of this and start our instructions. Um, so what I'm gonna do is the first one, I'm gonna set um, the, kind of the interactive initial engagement stage. Uh, so this is where we'll um, go through the first step of asking the user about the specific use case or the specific uh, needs that they have. And then based on that, we can move forward to the analysis and uh, figuring out the best solution and providing the best response based on the 48 laws of power book that will attach to this particular GPT. Okay, so the initial engagement, we're gonna say, start by guiding the users who are uncertain about their specific needs. Um, so the, the whole point of this initial engagement was to, for GPT to get an understanding of what the user is looking for, right? So that's why we're telling the model should prompt with simple direct question to understand their current life situation. So if the user already has a question that they know and they're just going to come in and type and get a response, that's going to be the easier part, right? But if somebody is very uncertain and they don't know how to prompt, that's when we want to have this initial engagement instruction to this GPT. So that way they have a good understanding of, hey, this question or this prompt that the user put, it's not very clear. So we're asking the GPT to have an interaction with uh, the person who is using this GPT to make sure they understand exactly what they want. Um, this is very powerful because obviously with any large language model, the better the prompt, the better the response. So in this section, we are already kind of asking the GPT to, hey, get a better understanding of what the user is looking for, and then you can respond, right? So that's why we're saying that the questions could, should focus on understanding the user's goals, challenging challenges they're facing, and the nature of the interaction with others. Um, so again, this uh, we're saying that the probing will help the model to identify the relevant laws from the 48 laws of power. So we, when they get this 
initial interaction interaction with the user, the GPT will then understand, okay, so this is what the user is looking for. And then it's going to go back to its resource, which is going to be the 48 laws of power, the book that will attach. And then based on that, it will provide the proper responses. And obviously at the end, I wrote this step is essential for extracting the core issue because then from for the next steps, this will kind of act as the guide um, and provide the proper responses. So that's the first step. So that's the second one we're going to understand. We're going to um, give an instruction to the GPT uh, that goes through and understands the in-depth uh, examination of what the user puts. And then based on that, goes through and, and analyzes everything. So, okay, so the second step of instruction that we're giving it is called we're just naming it in-depth law examination and again this is not necessary but the reason why I do this so that way for my own sake if I want to come back later on and change something then I understand that okay in this particular section I want to change the instruction so that way they um, the GPT could respond better so that's why I either put like step one step two ABC or just have like a little title in front of it so that way it's a lot easier for me to come back and edit it anyway so the second step here we're saying in-depth law examination examination. Um, so we're telling the GPT that once you receive the query, go ahead and analyze uh, the relevant laws from the Green's book that we're going to attach to it and dissect the key strategies, the psychological insights that Robert Green presents. And then based on that, really understand the applicable law that might apply to this. And then for the next steps, we can actually go ahead and tell it to provide the advice after thoroughly uh, analyzing this particular prompt. Okay, so strategic advice formulation. So now, based on the analysis of the previous step here, we're going to tell the GPT to develop a strategic advice that aligns with the laws in question. So now that they, it has gone through and understood which laws are applicable to this particular situation that the user is asking for, we're going to tell it to now go ahead and develop a strategic advice that should be practical, um, that will reflect the strategic depth of Green's work, and providing the user an actionable insight. So now it's going to go ahead and concentrate and offering guidance to the user based on the understanding of the power dynamics and uh, strategic maneuvering by uh, Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power. Okay, so the fourth instruction that we're giving it, um, I'm titling it Offering Diverse Strategic Options. So we're going to tell it to present a range of strategic options based on different interpretation of the laws. So now that it has gone through analyzed everything it has gone through and interact with the users it has come up with the strategic advice based on the law that aligns with the question now we're telling it to uh, go ahead and present a range of strategic options not just one right so that's why we're telling it that this step will involve cre creatively applying the principles of variety of contacts um, and making sure that we're giving the user several advices based on the laws that are applicable to that particular questions. Um, and we're saying that we we'll, we want to encourage, the GPT should encourage the users to consider these varied strategies to find the most effective approach. So again, we're telling them, hey, here are several options because it might not get everything correct, but if we offer the user several options, then they can interact with the GPT and further specify, hey, I like this particular one. Can you expand on that? So that's where this specific instruction comes in. Okay, so the last step, um, we're naming it Advanced Strategic Integration and Application. So again, now we're telling it, now that you have provided that initial advice, now broaden the scope by integrating advanced strategies and concepts, right? So we're saying that now emphasize on the re relevance of Green's principles in the current social and political and professional environment. And we're saying that this step should ensure that the advice remains highly applicable um, to the current complex power dynamics, right? So this further actually goes and dissects the user's initial prompt and based on the previous step, give the user more context about how to use these particular laws into the current dynamics or into their current environment that they're seeking help in. All right, so I think um, I think that's good enough. These are really good instructions. So now we're going to close this um, and then go ahead and actually upload the knowledge base. So this is very important because we want this to always focus the answers based on the knowledge base and not use web browsing. So let's first upload the file. I've already downloaded the PDF version of 48 Laws of Power. So I'm just going to go ahead and now put this here. Again, I'm not publishing this to public, so there shouldn't be any copyright issues. This is just for 
um, this particular YouTube video, so it should be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and upload the file. And actually, I'm going to turn off the web browsing. So that way, it's knowledge source is only going to be the PDF file that we're uploading. Um, I'm going to turn on DALI image and generation. That's fine. If the user wants to have an image, uh, code interpreter, that's very important, obviously. And you can see the code interpreter lets GPT run code. So uh, your GPT can analyze the data and w work with the files you've uploaded and do math and more. So obviously, this is a very important step um, because we wanted to make sure that uh, it's able to interact with the PDF file that we're uploading it. So I'm going to leave the uh, actions and additional settings. We're not going to touch that. And I'm actually going to get rid of the conversation starters. We don't really need this because, again, this is going to be very vague in the beginning. If a user already knows what they're seeking for, then they can go ahead and put that direct question. But if they are not, we want them to feel free to start at any point because then um, we gave the instruction to the GPT that, hey, in the initial engagement, if they're not sure, go ahead and prompt the user by asking additional questions to make sure you understand exactly what they're looking for. So I think this looks good. So this is basically all we need. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Publish to me. Okay, so let's test this out. I'm actually going to type a very specific question and I'm going to make sure that the prompt is done very well. So that way we can test out and see how the Power Dynamics GPT responds. And then we're going to go ahead and try another uh, question which is very vague. It's going to be somebody who's not sure about what they want. We're just going to get started through that. I'm struggling at work. I feel like my contributions are often overlooked and I'm not sure how to make a bigger impact or get noticed by my superiors. What should I do? The prompt is very specific. The user is identifying exactly what they're going through. So now the GPT, the Power Dynamic GPT should respond based on the laws um, from the 48 Laws of Power by uh, Robert Greene, the book that we uploaded, right? So let's go ahead and press enter. So it's searching through its knowledge. Now this knowledge again is going to be the book because again we turned off the web browsing. So it should only focus on the book and present as an answer or a response based on the 48 laws of power. And it should actually spit out the exact number of the law because that's what we told it in our instruction. There you go. It provided actually a very detailed response. So it says in your situation where you feel contribution at work are being overlooked, it might be beneficial to consider law six from the 48 laws of power. And as you can see, it's referring to the exact law and it's actually giving the title. And it's also going to give you further contacts and strategies because again, that's exactly what we told it, right? We said that it, it needs to have a strategic advice formulation. So it's kind it, of, it's, it's listening to that step and it's providing the contacts and it's saying f follow these strategies in order for you to achieve what this law actually says. So it's actually better than the book, in my opinion, that you would read because now this is actually giving you step-by-step -step guide on how you can apply that law to your particular situation. So as you can see, it's giving you the standout visually. So make sure your appearance is professional and polished. It gives you the second step, communication, take initiative, all of this. Again, he's providing this based on, or GPT is providing this based on the 48 laws of power, but it's going through and actually analyzing the book in much more details because of the instructions that we provided. So now let's go ahead and try and maybe give it something very vague, not as specific as this particular situation, right? Yeah, so in this one, let's try and be a bit more vague. So I'm going to try like a social situation, right? So I'm going to say, um, let's say, I am too agreeable. So now, again, very simple. The prompt is not that extensive. Let's go ahead and try this to see how it's going to guide us and make the prompt better on top of that, how it's going to respond. Okay, great. So now, as you can see, it didn't provide a response because now it wants to make sure it understands the context, the goals, the challenges, and the impacts. And then based on that, it will actually provide a very strategic advice based on the 48 laws of power. So instead of responding, just like we told it to in the initial stage here, is like start by guiding the user who are uncertain about their specific needs, right? So the model, the GPT is going to prompt with simple direct question to understand their current life situation, which is exactly what it's doing, right? So it's saying, okay, could you please describe a recent situation where you felt you were agreeable? Understanding the specific context will help in applying the most relevant principle from 48 laws of power. 
um, and it wants to understand your goals and challenges and it also understand how is this being agreeable impacting you right so it's f doing further probing to make sure it understands properly and exactly what you're looking for and then based on that it will give you that uh, analysis and advice and then also the specific law that robert green is referring to so you guys can play around with this this is very cool um, again, I'll put the description on the video so that way you can use this not just for this book, but for any book, right? But this is a great example of how you can use a GPT for your real life situation. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.